Hi everyone, in this video production, Apostle Joshua Selman will be sharing with us his first spectacular hand of God that he experienced in his life and his ministry. This story is a very very powerful one and it will inspire your Christian life. Stay connected to this video production. Don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you. Many years ago, the Lord performed, I think that would be the first spectacular manifestation of the hand of God that I saw in my life and I would say through the ministry. There was a gentleman who had his, his spine, now I'm not a doctor, and they labeled the spine and this, this gentleman had damaged the spine. They were waiting to ship in some doctors from India to come and perform a very delicate surgery there at the teaching hospital in Zaria. And then I had an opportunity to talk with this gentleman in the night by call. Then phones just, people just started having access to phones. And then I called him and I told him, I said, do you believe? looking back honestly i don't know if i believed it will happen or not sometimes it's good to not know what you are praying about just pray quietly because you if you are aware of the gravity of what you are praying about it may dampen your faith i prayed over that gentleman and i stand before god i lie not he may be somewhere in the world following this teaching today when i spoke over him I had a loud shout. He had um, this breast, uh, they call it something that they hook, they just hold the neck so it doesn't move. And then this guy, he found a way of losing it and began to shout with the phone on. He ran to the mother's room and the last thing I heard before the phone was off was Jesus. And that was it. You know how people come to greet when someone is bereaved? That's what happened in their house the next day. People came and said, what in the world is going on? Who did this? They said, one gentleman like that. Who is he? Welcome to Start Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 130, The entrance of thy word giveth life. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. When I saw the x-ray myself, and I saw the gentleman who had been healed. I said, only a fool will say in his heart, there is no God. Listen, we need a display of signs and wonders. Please hear me with all due respect. If you are in ministry here, contend for the grace. This is a time when if you do not genuinely walk in signs and wonders, be ready for empty pews. People will not come for nothing. There is a hunger that is driving men to experience the God of the Bible in a way that is more than theory. hallelujah do you know that's not even the story when this guy was healed all of a sudden i think over it would be over the next one month i got calls almost every day from doctors in the hospital apostle sincerely i'm struggling with something i learned a lesson people have problems but they must vet your ability to help them before they open up I was amazed at how many people just laugh whereas there are myriads of problems and I made up my mind that I did not want a powerless ministry God do not send me with only a sermon no he says I am not ashamed of the gospel for it is the power not just the message the power the power I said Lord as you send me from nation to nation grant me grace to follow the path of our fathers men and women who kept nations at a standstill one time i watched the the crusade of tl osborne and i was in tears spectacular manifestations of the power of god to the point that the, the government would come together i know there was a nation that despised him and before he went to be with the lord they came together as a nation and invited him to apologize publicly
we need to return the reality of the power and the grace of God there is none like you no one else can touch my heart like you do I can search through all eternity Lord and find there is none there are many of us who have loved ones who have refused to give their lives to Jesus you love them they love you back but they will not get born again do you know why there is something about your Christian experience that has failed to capture superior dimensions of the power the grace and the glory of God do you know what made the jailer remember Paul and Silas when the jailer saw that spectacular manifestation he was about to kill himself and he said no 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 no, no. we are fine and that was the harvest the church the the betting of the church was a miracle it was a sign and a wonder the bible says now when the day of pentecost was fully come it says they were gathered together in one accord suddenly there was a sound always starts with that sound as of a mighty rushing wind then they saw what looked like cloven tongues as of fire it came and sat upon them are we together in one day three thousand people were saved it's my desire that the global harvest that is delaying the coming of Christ oh yes he will not come until this gospel of the kingdom is preached as a witness to all creation then the end will come the end does not depend on him it depends on our mission that is scripture so we can look forward to and hasten the day of his coming to the degree to which we see the nation saved I pray that by this talk before we begin to pray that God will use this opportunity to plant a burden a burden for the nations a burden for the nations we're not going do you know the way our world now you can't even stop someone to preach because they can say you are a terrorist or something and arrest you and you will go to court that means there has to be an alternative system one-on-one -on -one evangelism right now the times that we live in is making it almost not possible you stand you're talking to someone and he says what are you telling my daughter you stand you're talking to someone he said ah no 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 last week that was how someone came in the name of jesus and robbed us go away so people will not listen here's the great commission he says go ye into the world and preach the gospel to every to all creation he told you the assignment go he told you what to do preach he told you who to preach to men and creation but he never told you how there has to be a display and and a display of signs wonders there's gonna be a great awakening it's a prophecy there's gonna be a great revival in our land there's gonna be a great awakening and everyone who calls on Jesus they will be saved when 10 dead people come back to life in one week and while that is happening 50 jobless people in one week receive supernatural jobs jobs that glorify jesus while that is happening you have 19 sets of triplets coming back to back these are the kinds of, don't, don't release your faith for I'm, I'm talking of superior things now let me see who will come and stand and watch that plethora of the manifestation of the power of god and say it was stage managed no they are called notable miracles are we together while that is happening you go to bed wondering where will my rent come from and you wake up with a text message come and meet me somewhere in abuja and the person said the lord said for the sake of the kingdom let me give this to you and he said please if it's a scam if you are joking if it's april fool just tell me he said no 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 i was led 
Lord, pour out your spirit on all the nations of the earth. Let your sons and daughters speak your words of prophecy. Show your mighty power. Reveal the secrets of your heart. Lord, our faith is rising. Let creation see the coming of your name. There's gonna be a great awakening. There's gonna be a great revival in our land. There's gonna be a great awakening And everyone who calls on Jesus They One miracle of a popular madman Was equal to the salvation of ten cities one miracle of a popular prostitute was equal to the salvation of several people is it in your bible yes sir as the time draws near more than our messages we must trust god for a reign of the spirit not just falling down and standing up that is for church a demonstration of the power of God it was our father of blessed memory Archbishop Benson Idahosa who stood over a city and declared that a conference that to honor Satan would not hold ah Lord restore the days of power back to the church genuine power when Moses stood before Pharaoh he didn't talk for long he allowed the mantles to keep speaking we are talking too much is the reason why the world has no value and regard for the investment of god upon our lives again when our words become few and the signs become multiplied then the nations will come to their knees again and i know in the name of jesus that in our lifetime we'll see jesus exalted again that signs and wonders will be wrought in the name of his holy son to the end that souls be saved to the end that the harvest the harvest is we believe you are blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section you can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos so more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages we celebrate you and see you in our next video thank you